Texas Board of Education plan to ease up on curriculum requirements for high school science classes. Well, it's a change that some say discredits the theory of evolution. As KXAN's Rachel Glazer explains, opponents believe today's vote could open up a can of worms. You can't criticize Darwin, but you can criticize your government, that's for sure. The State Board of Education wants to simplify science to streamline how public schools teach evolution to high school students. Who might argue with the educators who are in the front lines dealing with our kids day in and day out? A committee of teachers and scholars says the state's current standard to teach and scrutinize all sides of scientific theory is too time consuming and confusing for students to learn. Students should know that some questions are outside the realm of science. Barbara Cargill introduced new language to the state standard that was not recommended by the Streamline Committee. There are different theories like the, the deep sea vent theory and the Big Bang. Supporters say theories. the proposal encourages critical thinking. It opens up opportunities to steer away from, from scientific explanations. Critics argue the changes are a backdoor approach to get creationism into classrooms, despite federal court rulings against teaching creation and intelligent design theories in public schools. Anytime you throw mud at an idea and you allow disclaimers that are ill-founded to be included, you're going to undermine people's opinion of the topic. A biology professor at UT Austin says the language casts doubt on the theory of evolution. Evolution is a founding idea of biology. The state standard does not mention creationism. They deal with phenomena that are not scientifically testable. All those opposed Board say members no. on both sides of the vote say the goal is to keep the state's curriculum focused on scientific explanations. Rachel Glazer, KXAN News. Today's preliminary votes were largely split down party lines with Republicans in favor of adding language that was not recommended by the Committee of Educators. The State Board of Education will take a final vote in April with plans to implement the changes for the 2018-2019 school year.